If I have not mentioned it already, I should do it now. Uh, the drink of choice in Russia is mostly tea, but I will not be covering it here since it's uh, pretty well known all over the world. And uh, I will move on to other drinks, which are less, uh, mm, less traditional or maybe uh, much more recent. So I will continue with mineral water. This is the brand uh, very renowned in our country called Narzan. Uh, bottled and uh, produced uh, from mineral uh, glacier waters or somewhere in uh, Kaza uh, Caucasus mountains. And uh, it has, uh, it enjoys a huge popularity in our country and actually is uh, featuring in our folklore. There is an alternative brand uh, from Georgia which is called Borjomi, but I cannot buy it in our stores uh, now due to um, political reasons. We don't have it uh, yet here. But uh, it, it is also very popular and uh, spawned, spawned a number of um, copycat uh, the brands in Russia these days. Um, actually fizzy drinks or pop drinks uh, were very popular in our country and uh, since maybe Zari's time. Like Borjomi and Narzan, uh, which are natural drinks, uh, they, uh, they started in the late 19th century uh, and uh, a number of um, drinks were introduced before the Second World War. And uh, this one of the most prominent of them is this one called Duchess, which is a which is a drink made on the basis of uh, uh, of a, of peers of that uh, of that sort called Duchess, which uh, which we which as I realized stands for Duchess or Duchess is French for Duchess. Here it is, now of yellow color, fizzy, with gas in it, and it smells pear and uh, tastes uh, sweet. Um, another one is um, Tarhun. Uh, tarhun is a word probably of uh, Georgian origin, uh, which uh, here I see it's written with Georgian characters, um, and it has a it has a traditional yeah, intensive uh, green uh, color. It was developed uh, again in late nineteenth uh, century and was popular in Soviet Union. And I know a lot of uh, foreigners are scared of its intensively chemical emerald color, but um, it, it tastes very interestingly due to its main um, ingredient, uh, tarhun, uh, shrub, bush, grass, I don't know, uh, or uh, tarragon in English. So it, it renders the drink uh, uh, its um, very special taste. Uh, then again, we have this one, Baikal. Uh, named after Lake Baikal, it's a Soviet response to Coke, and um, it tastes very good. Uh, actually, a lot of Russians like it, and um, it it is based on on a number of uh, of extracts and uh, natural ingredients. Uh, most of them indigenous to that part of Siberia after which it is known uh, or called after Baikal and uh, in Wikipedia there is a big description of uh, its uh, components but it, uh, it tastes interestingly, it uh, tastes good, refreshing and um, I actually prefer it over coke uh, or cola in, to be less specific but it's uh, just a matter of choice um, and uh, the last one in my today's presentation is called Sayane, 
which is uh, called after Sayan Mountains, close to our Altai uh, region in Siberia. And uh, it, it is also our response, or was, so it responds to Western uh, fizzy drinks. And it is also light yellow in color, yellowish. It also features the region on its label, the mountains, and it also features interesting uh, natural ingredients which our industry managed to find and uh, like the uh, cola leaves or a plant which was uh, which constitutes the basis for the cola drinks and uh, Wikipedia for example uh, goes about uh, the maral root, maral root, which is a foundation for this drink, and it says the following: research indicates that maral root may have a beneficial effect on impotence, memory, and learning, increasing working capacity of tired skeletal muscles, as well as anabolic and adaptogenic processes. So it's uh, again like the ablipiha drink; it's a uh, brimful of health. Uh, as much as a pop drink can be. As I mentioned, uh, all the, these uh, brands are enjoy very big uh, popularity in our country, and uh, uh, the labels uh, they also became uh, part of the brand. So in a shop you normally find several types of these drinks, several of Baikals and se maybe several of Sayan and uh, absolutely sure you will find many many imitations or variations of the Tarhun drink. I fail to find some other drinks uh, which are which were quite popular in the Soviet Union, I mean uh, fizzy drinks, namely Buratina and um, Kolokolchik and maybe some others. But uh, go ahead, uh, go to shops uh, in, in Russia uh, or Russian stores in the country you live in and uh, don't hesitate to taste these uh, excellent drinks. As usual, check the end of the video and uh, the details of the video on my YouTube channel for for the links uh, with the description of the product site I discussed and um, Wikipedia coverage of it. Thank you.